Hello everybody. So I have a laundry list of things that I wanted to do today. So I figured it'd be a good day to kind of bring you guys around. This week, it's Monday right now. This week is the first week that I'm not at my other job. I'm just door dashing full time. So one of the things that I want to do at some point today, I want to try to go to Best Buy and find a GoPro mount for my car. Right now I'm in my husband's Civic, by the way. Um, but I want to try to find a mount for my car so that way I'm able to film, like a follow me around. So that's one thing, but we're probably going to do that later today. Right now, we're parked outside of Ashley Furniture and like, it's called Ashbrook Furniture too. I don't know if it's the same company or what, but like it's the same building. We've come here before with TJ. And we found like a bunch of furniture and I really, I wasn't like ready to purchase anything yet. So I have a couple questions. There were a couple pieces I really have in mind that I want to get and like start accumulating a couple pieces at a time, I guess, to get my living room going. Um, so we're going to hop in, see what they can't tell me, see if I can't put like a payment down on something to get something delivered in a couple days. Um, my focus right now is my living room. I've also been on Facebook Marketplace a lot looking for a new dresser for her room because eventually she's going to have like a bedroom set so I didn't want to come here and like buy an expensive white bureau when that could change in a couple years. Um, so I just need something like just nicer for her so I've been scouring Facebook Marketplace for that but we're going to go inside see what we can't find see what they can't tell me and then after this I have I have to we're going to go get some lunch but I also um my job that I just left which I told you guys I'm not really like leaving I'm there to help if they need it and they texted me today saying that their menu boards aren't working and I'm like the only one that knows how to reset them so after here we're gonna go get some lunch fix those boards probably head home for her nap and then hopefully we can go to Best Buy at some point today before I'm dashing for the rest of the evening this is my small little kitty oh she's super cute this, this fuzzy. is the Barbie kitty yeah this is the Barbie girl <laughs> this is Pepper yeah ready hold my hand when I, stuff. she's looking for all like the spilled coffees and spilled ice creams I completely well she found something that she <laughs> I came in here knowing exactly what I was looking for oops and the moment that I'm in here my mind went completely blank I know I need like a sofa set there was like a fireplace thing we're looking at we're looking at coffee table and then I think we're looking at some end tables as well <laughs> we spent so much time in there oh my gosh we probably yeah. spent an hour in there but I'm very excited and I found a couch and a love seat and I figured I'd start with the couch and a love seat because once I have those in place, she's agreeing with me. Once I have those in place, I can kind of figure out like what other furniture pieces I would want. I can go and get a carpet that matches, like all that fun stuff and curtains. <laughs> They're gonna call me in a couple weeks when the couches are avail for, available for pickup and we can either pick them up or get, in, get them delivered. So I'm not quite sure what I wanna do just yet. Um, but now yep. we need to go to Best Buy. Having a bit of trouble, but I did find something for 20 bucks. Yeah, me <clears> too. <throat> and it looks like it suctions. <laughs> and Look it looks like they have a girl pro in the display, and so I'm assuming that will work. Like a little pet. Okay, so we got that straightened away, so I'll try it tomorrow. Oh, I'm not recording you. <laughs> I think this guy thought I was recording him. Um, I'm going to try it tomorrow and hi, babe, and see how it works. I'm hoping it'll work because uh, I really wanted to. Because the thing is, I have to use my phone to um, record uh, to to DoorDash. So I wanted to make sure that I had like another camera, and I was gonna bring my big camera. But I figured it might be hard to like show you guys and dash at the same time. So I was just trying to think of an alternative. My GoPro is um, charging right now. It's gonna charge overnight, so we should be ready to go in the morning but now we gotta go to the mall because mm -hmm. these eyelashes these are from uh huda beauty and they're the farah ones i bought samantha i didn't like those as much i like the farah ones so i need to go back and replace this pair because it's this is the last wear i'm gonna get out of them so ready to go to the mall and then we're gonna take a bubble bath and uh i, I told you we could purple bath bomb. yeah i told you you could use one of mommy's 
lush bath bombs. So the faster we get to the mall, the faster we can go home and do that. Put it in. Wow, put it in. Let it soak up, baby. Wow. It's messy now. Yeah, a little bit messy, huh? Whoa, just put your hand in so TJ just got home, so I'm trying to get some chores done. And I just washed our sheets. I have a pile of laundry I need to put away. But I wanted to get new sheets on our bed. And this cat is literally making it impossible. So I will show you what my cat likes to do as soon as he sees me start doing the blankets. Speed bump or pothole. I just dropped Miss Ella off at uh, the sitters because I'm going to be going door dashing today and I'm hoping that it will be a good day because it's rainy and muggy and it's just one of those days that people might not want to go out so I might get lucky. Um, my goal today is 15 dashes but I don't know if I'm gonna be having like a DoorDash episode today or not. I'm kind of debating. I, I charged my GoPro just in case, but I still haven't filmed the first DoorDash video to see how it actually came out. So I don't know, I might record it just in case, but we'll see. We have something a little bit more exciting to do before I go DoorDashing, however. Um, I need to stop and get some gas real quick and I'm gonna jump into the convenience store to get myself some of those chocolate Rice Krispie treats that I love so much. Um, I just want to keep a couple in my car in case I get hungry on my trip today. And I want to stop at the car wash at some point today and get rid of some of the trash that's in here. Um, but before I go, I'm going to head home after this and I'm going to get ready. Um, I'm going to do my extensions and everything because I've been straightening them so they don't take as long as like curling them. So I'm going to still straighten my extensions, but I want to go check out a wig shop today, like an in-personal, in-person wig shop. I've been looking at a lot of wigs online and I'm just so unsure about what's going to be good. Like I want to see them in person, I want to feel them, I want to touch them, I want to see how long they are, the color, everything. So I found a shop that you can walk into, but they open at 10 today. So it's a little past eight now, which gives me more than enough time to go get ready and do what I have to do. And then we're gonna go to that shop and then after the shop, hopefully I'll walk home with a new wig. Um, but if not, you know, at least I'll, I'll know that I have other options. Oh, I need gas, why am I parking? This is the gas station that I used when I stayed at my in-laws. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, we can do this one. Okay, you're leaving, so I'm going to take your spot. Does anyone else hate getting gas? Like, it doesn't even have to be cold out. It could be 90 degrees. I still... I hate getting gas. But I'm going to fly in as well, so you know what? I'm going to grab my wallet. As soon as I pulled up to the pump, somebody pulled up behind me like waiting. So I was like, oh crap, because I still wanted to run inside, but they didn't even have chocolate rice krispies, so I'm gonna have to go to another gas, gas station that I know has them. Um, but I was like, oh crap, so I like put that little clip on so my gas would keep pumping. I tried to get in and out so fast, but by the time I came out, um, there was a lot of like empty gas stations, so the truck must have just moved and found a new gas station, but I was like, your girl needs her snacks today. I'm just thinking out loud at this point, but I also have to film something before I leave today. 
but I'm trying to think, do I want to get try to get this wig first and then come home and film? I'm not quite sure. I'm still I'm still thinking. You guys will know because I'll bring you along with me, but at the moment I'm not sure just in what order I'm trying. I'm trying to do everything before I go door dashing so I can spend the rest of the day door dashing, but then I also I'm trying not to lose these hours. I don't even know how much these wigs would cost me, to be honest with you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, I spend about $300 on my extensions, so I'm looking to spend the same amount, which isn't a lot for a really good wig, to be honest with you. Like, I was looking at, like, $1,200 wigs. Like, what, girl? What? I can't even justify spending that. That was the amount of my first car, $1,200. I think that's from Freedom Couture, 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 whoever, I don't know how to say it. I know like Harley Bybell gets her wings from there, By Brooke L gets her wigs from there, like they're really good wigs. I just can't, split. is this wig going to drive me places? I didn't think so. Something else, I hope you can see on the highway we're about to pass, I'm, I'm exiting, but do you see all those cars backing up in the breakdown lane? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> because there is like, stand still traffic right before this exit but this is like the exit that I take I'm not trying to avoid traffic but then you have like all these cars in the breakdown lane backing up to take this exit instead today is just what the heck what the heck what on earth y'all like what the heck is going on so I'm gonna reach out to my sitter and see if she doesn't mind me dropping Ella off around around a little bit earlier than this because I'm just trying to avoid buses and I'm trying to avoid this traffic because I'm trying to get home at a good time well that was completely miserable getting back home so I'm about to things are going bump um, I'm about to get ready but I want to show you something really quick I just posted a um, going out of business like toddler clothing haul not long ago but since I recorded the haul, I've gone back into Charlotte Russe, which is another video, but I also went back into Payless. I ended up getting Ella another pair of shoes because she's gonna need these these spring. So I got them a little bit bigger. So these are size 11s and they're just little black flats. And I know that every spring and summer, we go through so many flats. I always try to get a silver, a gold, and a black one at the like at the least um she does have a pink pair as well and then i saw these shoes and i said uh, do i need another pair of shoes no but they're amazing oh my gosh i've never owned a purple pair of pumps can you just picture this with an all black outfit purple accessories or like purple earrings and then these shoes oh my god or like gold earrings or something i just i died i couldn't i couldn't say no this was my last chance to get them oh they're beautiful and i think they're gonna be so perfect for spring because they're kind of like that pastel purple oh they're amazing oh did i grab any jewelry that would match that i don't think so most of my jewelry is like peaches and coral and white oh well these gold ones <laughs> so we could do those but not today it's raining out um i think i'm actually gonna throw my hair up in a hat until i actually go to the wig shop and see what i can't do because if i can get a wig today obviously i want to wear that otherwise it's raining outside so there's really no point in doing my hair so i'm gonna throw my face together and then we'll be out the door in about an hour and we'll go check out the wig shop together i don't know if they're gonna let me film in there so we'll we'll see when we get there okay honestly this place was kind of hard to find um you're gonna have to wait a second dude I'm just trying to friggin' park. Oh, I found a parking spot. <laughs> there we go. Um, this place is kind of hard to find, I'm not gonna lie, but it says that it's in a salon. So we're at the Angelic Hair Salon, and then it says it's located inside. Although they open at 10, it's 9.55 now. I'm gonna try to go in, but I don't know if that door is gonna be locked. Oh boy, okay. Hopefully we'll walk away with something. If not, I'll go home and finish my hair. I was like, eh. I couldn't find my hat anyway. <laughs> so I did not get a wig today, which means I'm going home. Throw my hair in a bun probably. 
but oh she was so nice the woman that i talked to there was so amazing she gave me like so much good advice on like what to get and what not to get so i did technically order a wig and her name is angelica and she's beautiful so they're i ordered it so they're um gonna do the color and stuff and she said that it would be in in five days so that means it'll probably be in sometime next week because it is already friday so i'd probably assume by like thursday possibly even next friday maybe sooner that would be exciting um but she was so sweet she was asking me about my makeup i told her about my youtube channel so she might be watching this vlog right now and it was just she was so amazing if you're watching like i'm so glad that i found you you're so helpful you answered all of my questions why am I waiting to go? I know exactly where I am. <laughs> Gonna start heading home. But I couldn't have been happier. Like I walked in not knowing where to go, not really knowing anything. And I just sat down and I said, I've been wearing extensions for over 10 years. I'm tired of the damage. I'm afraid of teasing my hair every day because I'm starting to create this dread up here that I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cut off. Like, I just want to hear my options. And she gave me a couple different options. She was talking about the difference between synthetic and human hair wigs, which obviously human hair wigs are probably a little bit more, I wouldn't say like maybe quality, but you know, you can style them more. With synthetic wigs, you can style them, but you have to use a steamer, which is probably what I'll do. But the style on its own is so beautiful. Um, I just I didn't want to film in there. She had such good advice and I really wanted to listen to what she had to say She was incredibly friendly and I was like, I'm so sorry because I walked in at like 9 55 and they didn't open till 10 And I said, I'm so sorry. I said I just googled you guys I'm just looking for someone to answer some questions about wigs. I said I can come back if, You know, I'm here too early. I know you guys don't open and she's like, oh my gosh She's like, no, come on in. She's like sit down. She had me sit down uh, is it this one? Um, she was just incredible. She answered all my questions and I just told her I ended up going with synthetic wigs because A, I believe they're a little bit cheaper than human wigs, but it's not just about the cost. I want to change my look all the time, especially with the career that I'm trying to get into where, where it's beauty. I want to change my looks and some looks look better on camera with certain videos and you know, I just kind of like want to build Oh, I should probably put on my windshield wipers. I want to build like a wig closet. So the first one I got, Angelica, she's very similar in color to my natural hair. She's a little bit longer. She's super layered and she's voluminous. So the first one I got was like the closest to what I try to achieve on an everyday basis. But as I progress, I could get like a short bob. You know, or I could do like a super curly hair and just change it all the time. Cause I don't care anymore. I don't care what people think. I'm gonna wear my fake freckles and my fake weave and I'm gonna love myself for it because this is who I am and that's fine. Um, so I'm just really excited. She was so amazing. The salon was so amazing. And she said that I have great hair, which, <laughs> girl, <laughs> I haven't been told that I have great hair in a long time. But she, again, she was super friendly and I could not have been happier with that experience because I feel like a lot of salons that I go into I do not like them touching my hair at all like they are so rough and they're so mean and I have such like a dry scalp they're like ew what do you use for shampoo like I've never felt comfortable at a salon because they've always like out loud or not have judged me for my hair and I'm there to fix my hair so I love that she also didn't try to talk me out of anything so she like let me think about what I wanted not what she wanted to sell me um, and the wig costed me about 270 actually 250 which is cheaper than my clip and extensions let that sink in for a second um, so she had some really great options so I said I really wanted to start with Angelica wear her, see how I like her, see if I like the feeling of even wearing a wig. Cause she was even saying, I, uh, she's like, oh, have you ever heard of Freedom Couture? And I'm like, I was just talking about that on my YouTube channel. I said, I was just, you know, I, oh yeah. I said, yeah, they're so expensive. She says, yeah, and they're lace. So you have to cut off the lace, which I have seen in videos. You cut off the lace, 
you glue it down, which can be a pain in the butt because they can flip up on you, but then if you get really up close to somebody, sometimes you can see like the hairline or the wig or the like whatever, you know, and she's like, so we're talking about those too. So I'm glad that I talked to her and I'm sure they're beautiful, but I just want something as natural as possible, something that I can change up all the time. And that is that. I am absolutely starving. <laughs> so I'm sitting here currently waiting for door dashes. And while doing that, I was trying to edit uh, my first episode of DoorDash, DoorDash Dash Camp episode one because they're gonna be different from my vlogs. So the series that I'm trying to do with DoorDash, um, you know, DoorDash will just be about my experiences and door dashing. My vlogs will be like everything outside of door dashing, my beauty, my fashion, my behind the scenes family time, you know what I mean? So they're gonna be totally two different types of content. Um, so I, uh, I'm not happy with it. I The GoPro worked in the sense of like a nice angle, um, but the audio quality sucks. <laughs> I think the GoPro is more like visually enticing. Like I think you could put together like a super nice montage or like a vacation or you know underwater stuff like music but to actually hear what I'm saying there's like this awful like hissing in the background and then at one point I must have touched my camera and I smudged it and there's a big old glare through the other half of the video and this is an hour and a half long <laughs> which it means holy crap I'd have to um no wonder why my computer was struggling to keep up. I'm gonna just delete this footage and um, try again, which is no big deal. I'm, I don't. I didn't talk about anything crazy or anything, so it's it's really fine. So I'm gonna delete that. I think I could restart my computer now. Oops. Whatever. We can shut it down for a sec. Yep. It's fine. It was my first attempt. Um, I think. I think I'm going to put it on hold until I finally just buy a vlogging camera. I've been trying not to buy a vlogging camera because I've been trying to put that money towards something else. But at the same time, like I'm pretty tired of using my phone as my shh, my phone as my camera. I want better quality and I still like this little tripod or um yeah, tripod thing I bought from my GoPro, like I can still unscrew it and then screw on a regular camera, so I'm not like wasting that either. Um, I think it's just time to look up New Hampshire laws about <laughs> about recording and driving because I want to make it a series. I just also don't want to worry about having like to break the law to do so. We'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna restart my computer and i will see you guys probably tomorrow it's the weekend so i don't know what we're gonna do yet <laughs> my hair is a mess because it's windy today hey baby girl what's going on so we um i just went to walmart <laughs> yesterday um but then i realized when i was putting stuff away yesterday that there were a couple of things that i missed so we ended up going back this morning i ended up finding Two products I felt like you might want to see, you might not. We're about to um, head and go get some lunch before we go to a play place. But I figured I'd show you guys real quick before we forgot. So product number one was just a lipstick. And I ended up buying this because I was on Pinterest. Excuse me, I was on Pinterest. And I was just browsing like the beauty section. Hi. Hi, baby. And when I go to this, when I and I saw that they were showing a lot of dupes from Milani for like Ofra, for Jeffree Star, for stuff like that. So I wanted to give it a try. This is in the color called Adorable, which is just a nice nude, which is obviously one of my favorite colors because I wear it all the time. I'm putting this one right over the lipstick that I'm wearing right now, which is Can't Relate from Jeffree. And this one's slightly darker, but it's very similar in shade. Wow. So if you're looking for Can't Relate, if 
you want a more alternative option, I would check out this. And they had a nice variety of colors, so I would definitely check out the Milani. If it wears well, I want to go back and get some more colors. I feel like my makeup is so over the top because I don't know in what order it's being published, but I filmed this tutorial today and also I'm going home to film my uh, giveaway today as well but that won't be later till today maybe it's already out I don't know I'm not quite sure what order things are coming out but I do know oh boy there's someone in front of me oh, now. this is a cute slime it's a cute Where? slime look at this one I'll make sure that this vlog comes out before this video but this one I'm gonna turn off the heat real quick this one is the rechargeable heated eyelash curler does that sound terrifying? Yes, it does, but I'm gonna be doing a video on this as well. I'll probably do this one in a couple of days. Uh, so we'll just kind of hang on to it. What, baby? Can I tell you, tell you a secret? Yeah, I can't you? tell if my door is open or if I just turned on those lights. Oh, guys, this okay. is the cutest Nunum Slime I've ever seen. You know, under the Nunum Slime, yep. guys, a cute little small baby. Yeah. It's so cute. Because everyone sees you backing out. Nobody gives a crap. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch the next person that doesn't let me go. I have yeah. no idea where we're going, so I'm just gonna head toward the direction of the play place, and hopefully we'll run into something, because I just want something and small that no we can other split. And direction food in the other room food in the other room? Yeah. What does it's that mean? From the party. What the, party? The party at the school. What party at the school? Barbie won the place when you was talking about. There's the party there's the party there. Oh yeah, yeah. The play place that we go to, they host like birthday parties and stuff. Um, and that's what she's talking about. Yeah, yeah they had a birthday party there. This Milani lipstick doesn't feel bad, by the way. I'm kind of waiting to feel if it I feels stiff. I had the hiccups. But it feels good. Ah. She had the hiccups. What? Ah. Those aren't real hiccups, crazy. Ah. All right, girlfriend, you got to help me look for some lunch, okay? Yeah. I'll go get that first. I wanted to go get her Easter dress, too, but my mom buys it for her every year. And we always have a hard time getting together, first, but this would have been a perfect first opportunity. Play place. Yeah, I don't I don't think she's gonna get back to us anyways. I don't think it'll work out today. Oh, are we out to lunch? Mm -hmm. We're at Outback Steakhouse. Just ordered our food. <laughs> Chicken tenders to split, right? Just drop something. <laughs> what are you doing? Hello, baby. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Be 
cute babies. So my mom called me while we're in there, so I got cut off from my conversation. But our plans ended up changing a little bit because she has the opportunity to go get the dress today. So we're not gonna have time to go to the play place. Oh, okay. Um, we're not gonna have time to go to the play place, go get her toys, go back for a nap because I gotta film my giveaway today. Then go to her house because she goes to my mom's house every Sunday for like family dinner so I can go door dashing. Like it's 12.30, I've kind of run out of time. Today kind of went really, really fast. I'm just waiting for little Missy to get in her seat so I can buckle her in. But I think that's where we're gonna head now. So I called her before we left and said that we we're on our way to the store. So we're gonna go, um, meet her there. Sit in your seat, baby, so I can buckle you in. <laughs> that was so funny. You were so funny. <laughs> she went, hi. And then when it went, bye-bye, you went, bye. <laughs> you were so cute. Hey. What? You're cute. But That's a good thing. Kitty, kitties are cute. You're super cute. Me, kitties. Oh, and something that's Wait. so exciting that everyone else will probably, oh boy, something that's so exciting you, that no one else will find exciting, but I do because this, this just marks a moment. I have not had a dryer since she was born. A couple months after she was born, my kitchen flooded, old news. My washer and my dryer went with it because my washer and dryer used to be behind like pantry doors in my old kitchen. And she was probably like a month old when this happens and she's almost five now. We were able to get a washer hooked up in my basement. Dryer was much harder because of the exhaust and wiring needed to be done and all that fun stuff. It's taken us a very long time. <laughs> Much longer than I should have, but it took us a very long time. I'd always have to plan laundry on nice days when I could hang my clothes up outside. Or in the winter, I'd have to do constant trips to a laundry mat. First world problems, I know. But my husband is awesome and he got the dryer hooked up yesterday. So I have my very first load of laundry in five years drying out my house. And that's so exciting. <laughs> you don't even understand. It is so exciting. All right, I gotta, I gotta go because my mama's probably waiting for me. Okay, so I just got done filming my giveaway. My big ring light is right here because I have all the giveaway prizes here. I'm so excited. You might be able to see like the packaging on some, but it's not a big deal. But I need to get a thumbnail and I need to get a picture for my Instagram and my, oh my goodness, and my Facebook, which the giveaway is gonna be basically hosted on. So I just wanna give you guys kind of behind the scenes because I'm up on a chair with my camera right now. And I could die. I'm trying to get an aerial picture. Okay, we don't want that blocking. Maybe here. Oh. <laughs> All right, I think that looks better. Let's take one. Okay, that's not bad. Um, maybe a little bit of cropping involved, but I think we got it. Let's see. Okay. I think that's as good as it's gonna get, so. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. No. no, 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 no! I'm sitting here this morning about to film a tutorial and my cat is obsessed with coming up here. But he eats all my beauty blenders so I can't let him up here when I'm getting ready. So he'll chitter at me. <laughs> he scared me too. I know, you was being silly. Okay, now I can film, my goodness. I realized I didn't show you guys what we got at the store. As soon as we left the store yesterday, it was like boom, 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 we had to go. Um, the rest of the day I was pretty much busy, so I forgot to vlog. But um, after I get ready, I'm gonna show you guys what we got, and then that will be the end of our vlog. So I'll be right back in a little while. What the heck? To be honest, I'm holding a lot of stuff, so it's a terrible angle. But we're at Ulta at the moment. I still need to, sh come here baby. I still need to show you guys her Easter dress, but there are a bunch of collections here that I forgot about. Oh, it's obviously sold dress. out. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta show them. Now they're sold out. Good, how are you? <laughs> and then we have color pops. 
<laughs> we have ColourPop's collection too. Which, to be honest, I'm not super like the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to pass. I think this collection I'm going to pass on. The packaging is great, but not yet, baby. Makeup by itself is pretty, and like, you know, I, I really tried, but like, I don't know what it is. I feel like I look really crazy. <laughs> I almost want to go home and just take my makeup off and let my face breathe today, which I just might because, um, you know, today's the last day that I won't like really have to wear makeup. But I already recorded my video. Um, I just don't really feel like wearing a full face of makeup today. I just kind of feel like going natural, so. I love your makeup. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna take that off. But yeah, I had gone into Ulta. I always love just browsing. I love seeing what's out. And I knew Jeffrey's brush collection was coming to Ulta. Um, I was just excited to actually see like the, the area because it's the first time he's made an appearance at an Ulta store. Um, so that was just really cool to see and like put on film. Um, but I'm not interested in buying his brush set. I am interested in his eyeshadows yeah. and his lipsticks and some of the face products and stuff like that. But I very rarely buy expensive brushes. The last, the first and the only actually brush that I ever bought was the collaboration with Museum of Ice Cream. Oh, somebody's tired. And then the whole color pop and villains collection I love the idea I love that they did villains but I'm not really that impressed with the collection there were a couple of like pieces that I was looking at obviously the misunderstood palette um, but then uh, pretty much just like some of the lipsticks but I'm not really super into buying highlighters from ColourPop I've ever I've also never tried them but I, I love my Amrezi highlighter, so that's the one I usually use. And then, like, a lot of the collections included, like, a highlighter, a lipstick, and a gloss. A lot of the collection pieces would show, like, a highlighter, a lipstick, and a lip gloss, and I don't use the lip gloss, and I would very rarely use the highlighter. So, to me, it wasn't really, like, a waste of money, but, like, I'd rather let it go to somebody else kind of thing. I thought the PR package would be cool to get, but it's almost $300. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I know there is a lot of makeup in it, but girl, I am not about to spend three hundred dollars on a. Nope. All set with that. So it was just again kind of cool to see the collections. I played with the ColourPop collection a little bit. The highlighters are very, very um, soft, and I don't know if that's just ColourPop's highlighters because again, I've never tried them. Um, but they seemed really pigmented. They seemed beautiful. It was just one of those collections that I took a pass on. There's a palette coming out next week for me that I really want to get my hands on. So I'm just kind of saving my money and waiting for that collection to drop. Um, also, with, with spring literally just starting and summer around the corner, like there's going to be more collections. So um, I really just like focusing on the collections that truly interest me. I, again, I love ColourPop. I love the ideas, but the misunderstood palette when I first saw it, I wasn't like super impressed like I definitely have in most if not all those shadows somewhere in my makeup collection so again I just didn't feel like it was worth my money this time around I even discussed Zoella's um, brunch collection and I really wanted to get my hands on that and I just never even I don't even know if it's available anymore but I never even looked into it I don't know I've just been like so I'm trying to keep up with everything in the beauty com community and I almost just feel overwhelmed with the amount of collections being dropped just with the ones that I use you know so it's it's a lot but um I need to get her home it is just about 12 30 now so we're making decent time um, I don't really have plans for the rest of the day though, except to edit this vlog and um, I was able to finish a video while I was there, so that was pretty cool. So I'm just gonna be hanging out and I'd probably go take this makeup off because I feel a little overdone. <laughs> I just 
just want to get rid of my makeup. I want to put on some moisturizer and, again, just let my face breathe. I don't think I've ever done the um, power of makeup makeup challenge, but I guess we're going to do it right now, kind of. <laughs> so, um, we just read Miss Ella a story. Honestly, I, I, I haven't ever used a liquid lipstick on my eyes, so I'm a little concerned about staining, but we'll see. I mean, the camera is really far. I can definitely still see pink. There's no doubt about that, but it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. <sighs> but yeah, I just, um, I'm pretty much just going to be hanging out for the rest of the day. <laughs> I look crazy. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish taking off this makeup real quick, and then we will end our vlog. I also still have my jacket on, by the way, because I have to go back outside in a minute. Um, but that seems, I feel better. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess though. I feel better. Um, most of the makeup is off. Now, I did leave a tiny bit of staining. You can still see a little bit of pink around the eyes. Um, I only used one makeup wipe, literally like, no makeup remover product at all. So the fact that this all came off still, it's pretty impressive to me. And here was kind of just a follow-up wipe, <laughs> a little more foundation. It's basically my eyebrows that always give me the hardest time because I use a pomade. I'm like, it does not want to come off. Anyways, let me show you her dresses real quick so I can put them away and not worry about them till Easter again. So we went, ended up going to a store yesterday and we picked out three dresses. And the first one is not uh, an Easter dress, but it's just a pretty kind of um, sundress. Oh, that's the back, sorry. Um, it's just a pretty sundress and it did come with like a little denim jacket as well, which is super cute. So this was just something that I saw that I really liked and I knew she would still fit in when it gets a little bit warmer. So that was just a little extra. But my mom ended up buying Ella um, two different dresses because she's spoiled. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. My, obviously Mimi wants to treat her so she bought her two different choices. And Ella went with us and like picked out her favorite and these were her two favorites. So we kind of have the fancier one. I think it's a little bit longer as well. Um, with all the tulle and then there's like lace up here with all the floral and then you have this one which is a little bit more on the casual side but you still have all the floral um, no lace but kind of like a netted pattern almost I don't even know how to explain it. it's a little bit textured but it's pretty but yeah these were two and then I had the shoes I don't know where I, I think I have I have like a little laundry basket over here I think I tossed them in there and I don't want to risk unfolding everything that I just folded so so anyways guys I think that's gonna be it for this week's vlog I have a lot to do I have a lot of work to do just want to get this one up so that I can get the next video up which is very very important so I have some stuff to do I love you guys thank you for hanging out with us and I will see you in our next one bye Hi, so guys, so we are going to the store. Get those Melty Pops. Oh no. Oh no.